This special edition of One on One with Steve Adubato is brought to you from the Tisch WNET studios at Lincoln Center. Funding has been provided by Holy Name Medical Center. This place is different. The Northward Center, United Airlines, New Jersey Sharing Network, dedicated to saving lives through organ and tissue donation. The New Jersey Education Association, Rowan University, educating New Jersey leaders, partnering with New Jersey businesses, transforming New Jersey's future. Investors Bank, and by Fedway Associates. Promotional support provided by AM970, The Answer. And by NJ.com. Small news, big news, true Jersey. This is One on One. I'm an equal American just like you are. The jobs of tomorrow are not the jobs of yesterday. Look at this. You got this? this? Here it is, man. Look at that. Life without dance is boring. <laughs> I don't care how good you are or how good you think you are. There is always something to learn. Do you enjoy talking politics? No. People call me because they feel nobody's paying attention. Our culture, I don't think, has ever been tested the way it's being tested right now. That's a good question. High five. <laughs> Never call him Pat. Never call him Pat? Never. Oh, we're on the air. Hi, Steve Adubato here at the Tisch WNET studio. We have a dynamic, I can get this, I'm a broadcaster, you know that? <laughs> dynamic, charismatic, talented team. Patrick Wilson. Yes, Does sir. not like to be called Pat. Patrick Wilson, <laughs> actor, it. singer. And Doug Mara Dominchik, yes. who is, uh, you, you know this guy? I do. I know him a little bit. They're married. They're talented. Uh, they're connected to our friends at the Montclair Film Festival. Um, I saw you recently back in, um, what did I say, in Succession. Oh, yes, Succession. You play, get, describe the character. Oh, um, my, my character's name is Carolina. <laughs> Appropriately and she's Polish. had, uh, she's not, she's probably She's not Czech. Polish? Probably, well, probably Well, her last Czech. name is Novotny, which to me oh. is Czech, not Polish. Okay. She's the head of their PR, Waystar Week was PR. So. And she has to handle very difficult situations. Yeah, a little bit here and there, hopefully yes. more next season. I love it, I love um, it. It's a dream gig, and I love tell it. Tell everyone where they can see that? HBO. I don't know, we'll check it out. What are you doing these days? Doing a lot of great things. Oh boy, I just had Midway come out, um, and now I'm uh, just chilling, being a dad. You're you know, doing a lot more than that, too. Um, you're involved, go back to this, because we were talking about uh, Montclair. Um, you may not realize this in the tri-state area, but the most talented, incredibly humble people <clears throat> come from Montclair. We're neighbors. Uh, <laughs> no, right. in all seriousness, right. Montclair is a place where there's an awful lot of artists and journalists and folks yeah. who are involved in all kinds of things. But you got involved with a film festival in town mm -hmm. with a friend, Bob Feinberg, who's part of the team here at Public Television. Mm -hmm. How'd that all happen? Uh, probably Luke Parker Bowles, maybe, I believe, who was one of the original founders. Um, and I think when you, anything we can do to promote the arts, whether it's with dance, theater, acting, whatever we can do. I think they do. just so go through the role It was a natural famous, fit. Famous, semi-famous people <clears throat> living here. Oh. Yeah. But you, it was you, a natural you fit. You jumped in. You jumped oh, absolutely. in. Absolutely. So we try to be as active as we can, and we've done a bunch of benefits, and every year I sing for their, uh, for, <laughs> for a okay. benefit concert that we do in, in February. So yeah. and try to help out throughout the year. And you grew up in? Mostly in Florida. Dad was a TV anchor. Brother's a TV anchor. Is that right? I come from a long line of wearing those. <laughs> the, I have to, yeah, nothing, just keep it low, you know, because my dad now. It's, is it uh, not right to wear on a Saturday night when you go out to dinner? Go, oh, it's sorry. perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so you were around that all the time? Constantly, yes. Were you drawn Still, really. to our business at all? <laughs> no, because I knew my brother wanted to do it. it was, I, I always joke, like, I look to the right or the left of the camera, and they look down the barrel, so. <laughs> and, and, Acting jokes. I got it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the chemistry is amazing. You'll be here all week. Isn't it? And you'll be here all week. So, uh, Poland. Yes. Poland. Came here when? 1983, February 17th. My dad was um, one of the founders of Solidarity, which was a mm. labor. Lechwanza? Lechwanza. They kind of worked with each other. He, my dad was head of the Świętokrzyskie, the Holy Cross region. So he had about 600,000 workers under his kind of leadership. And um, there was martial law implemented in 1981. And he got put in prison for about almost a year. And then we were basically deported, given a few days to find some place that would take us in. The government then was realizing all these workers were really stirring the pot, and they mm. wanted to kind of get rid of them instead of keeping them in jail. And so a lot of people went willingly. 
and a lot of people didn't really want to go, but, you know, my dad had two young kids and my mom implored him and the AFL-CIO sponsored us and we ended up in New York City. And how about that? And where did you guys meet? Did that happen in Florida? Not so much. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, a middle upper class upbringing, totally normal. Yeah. So, so you that's guys where we find the we balance. We went to Carnegie that's Mellon. The yin -yang. Oh, is that? Yep. Yes, we met in Carnegie Mellon. Yep. And Performed then, together? No, he was a Never. senior and I was a, a, a wee little freshman. Yes, and then we remet at an alumni. Ten event. years later. Ten years we later. We remet. Oh, I love it. Yeah. yeah. Patrick said we talked. We had a conversation yes. my freshman year we that did. I totally don't remember. Did you remember? remember? No. no. And I'm Same so glad my I wife. Do. It's terrible no, that she doesn't I remember. Don't. And you what? remember? Of course I do. I, I was dating Why my high remember? boyfriend. Is it us? It's them. Well, because literally everything else I forget, but I do remember very specifically <laughs> no, you meeting don't. her. You don't forget <laughs> everything. No. Oh, I love He's it. He's really good it. at remembering. But you have performed together. Recently. We just did. Yeah, come on. We just did. Yeah, the 24 hour plays. Yeah, at the, we, we did the 24-hour plays, which, which was... Which is a fundraiser that they right? do here once a year. They pick, uh, like, a renowned celebrity actor, and they pick a charity. And so um, we honor... This year was Kathy Bates, and um, they get together a dozen actors, uh, a handful of playwrights, directors. We meet in a room at Sunday at 11 p.m. at night. We bring a prop from right. our house. We talk a little about ourselves. The actors go home. Yep. The playwrights stay from 11 p.m. to 6 a.m. writing huh? five brand yep. new plays. And they perform in the night. And then we show up the next morning on Monday at Rehearsal 8 a.m. Rehearsal day, perform the night. Yeah. So we did a play with David That's Harbour. And our goal was just, we, we stood up and said, we have, we've acted together to in two films, but, never but barely, barely even shared a scene. And we would love to... Because uh, you're supposed to, to say, what together. have you never done so on stage what, that So you basically, do? we just ended up making yeah. out for... Uh, well, I said... Totally to, ad-libbed? <laughs> what? No, no, no. no. You, you, no like we, oh, you wrote it, and you no, did No, no, the playwrights wrote, playwrights wrote it. Oh, the, yeah, yeah, they When get we meet the playwrights, they, we go around in a circle, say, hi, I'm Dag, and I, something I've never done on stage is act with my husband, and here's a Rubik's Cube I brought and, from my and house. And the writers sit back, and they say, okay, you guys And then we go home, and we don't know in the morning... They write... You we, come back. We come back in the morning. We get the play. We were cast together. Yep. And I made a joke that, you know, my little, my, we have two sons and the younger one. I said, what, what should Daddy and I do on stage? Like, we've never acted together. And he was like, why don't you just make out? So I said <laughs> that as a joke. And the 13-year-old was like, why don't you not? You're 13 and what? 10. Okay. And so I made a joke to the playwrights, like, hey, I'll make out with him, whatever. And then the play ended up being every <laughs> two minutes make we out. make out. That's the stage. greatest. We had so much fun. We did. I loved it so much, and I want to do a play with you now. Yes. You do? Yeah, I do. Do you shop I that? Do. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, cool. That Clearly. Do, do you wind up shopping that, meaning shopping the idea or hoping that something comes We've along? I've never really done Can you be assertive as, as, sorry for interrupting, but can you be assertive as performers? excuse me, as actors, who say, sure. we want to do this, we have an idea, or do you say, let's wait for a project? We uh, could, but also the kids come into it. Yeah. You know, the, a, a play is a lot of commitment in the evening. So if we're well, both Corey's doing a doing play, now, yeah. you know, um, we don't have a nanny, we don't have, you know. What? We don't have a nanny and stuff. So, you know, our sons are older now, it's fine. But if we were to do a play together, then every night we're on stage and yeah. dinner and homework and we're not there. So we'd have to really... Something yeah, amazing really, would really either have to come out. along or yeah. we would have to go, you Probably know what? Figure it Screw out. the kids, let's yeah. do this. I love it. I love it. One so, day, I'm, though, right? One day. I'm curious about this. The, the managing, not only the managing of, of your family life, but to what degree do your children, 10 and 13, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Two boys? Two boys. Do they know and or appreciate what you do? Yes and yes. Yeah, they, I mean, they've grown up around it. Um, our 10 year old's actually on a TV show now, he's a prodigal it's a son. It's a thing. Um, which we, is a whole We directed new the school plays, you know, so the... obviously they know that theater means yeah. a lot. You direct the plays? Yeah, we've done yeah. it for like four years now in at town. the elementary yeah, school, yeah. At, the, at the school that, that yeah. they, the little ones. So this year will be our last year because our little guy is going to middle school next year. Yeah. But we've totally infused the arts, you know, like yeah. I think as a kid, as a boy especially, it's so great to be well rounded and they have such a great example. Patrick's Absolutely. like, a guy and he watches sports and all this, and yet he sings show <laughs> tunes. Guys do. And it's um, we do that. It's lovely but to have just that only outlet. A few of us can do what you do. <laughs> no, so we've encouraged it. Like yeah. if they want to pursue acting or theater, any art, a dance, I don't care. I feel I feel like nowadays kids are so uh, on their phones and and, and and such little human contact that the arts it's are the not last. Art. Yeah. It's the last it's remaining art. way to connect with Absolutely. humans is, yeah. is through art. So, so I want nothing that. more than to encourage that. Well, 
first of all, on behalf of all the folks in Montclair and the surrounding communities who appreciate Montclair Film, um, thank you for everything you're doing for the film sure. festival. Um, and also being people who really care about the arts yeah. and not just do it, but live it and promote it, uh, particularly for younger people. Yeah. Well done. We thank you for joining us here on One-on-One. On one. I'm glad hey. to make it one-on-two. Did I thank talk you right too there. much? I feel like I talk too much. No. No, you, no. Are you going to break this down after? And, <laughs> no, you guys are We're fine. Break it, it was down nice. Now. Keep going. Uh, we'll be right back right after this. They'll work out their issues later. <laughs> to see more One-on-One on one with Steve Adubato programs, visit us online at steveadubato.org. If you would like to express an opinion, email us at info at caucusnj.org. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash PhD and follow us on Twitter at Steve Adubato. Here we are, Shereen Pimentel and uh, Isaac Powell, Tony and Maria, West Side Story. Now, where is this playing? Is this not playing at the Broadway Theater? It is. Yeah. yeah. Right? Over where? Where is it? 53rd and uh, between... Where? It's Where on Broadway between, between the two of you, you'll get it right. We'll get it right. <laughs> it's 1681 right. Broadway. Okay, here's the question. <laughs> now, Tony and Maria, all yeah. about the chemistry. Yeah. Did you guys feel it immediately? Oh, look at this. <laughs> look, did you uh, feel it? With this guy immediately to say, we can work together. It's going to be magic. I think it did. Yeah. I mean, we went out for ramen. Yeah. Like, that was our first meeting. What? Yeah, we went to go Why get ramen? ramen together. Because Shireen loves ramen. Yeah, and we were around here, so yeah. I... I around Lincoln Center. Right here. I yeah. I met you at Juilliard. Yeah, yeah, so I go to Juilliard, and he was like, let's just meet there. And he was like, but that's your neighborhood, so you have to decide what to eat. And I'm very indecisive. So I was like, my favorite ramen place. I hope you like ramen. Let's go there. And that was it. And we walked there, yeah. Okay, so you get there. You're in the theater. You're getting ready, yeah. right? Describe for people, I can't imagine people don't know the story, the Tony and Maria story. Describe it. Do you know Romeo and Juliet? Yeah. So Is it's this Romeo set? And Juliet. Set it's, where? In New uh, York City? Set in New York City uh, on the west side, right pretty much exactly where we are right now. Mm -hmm. um, the Sharks and the Jets. Jets. Just saying. Sharks not and the, the Jets. Not the stinky New York Two Jets. Rival gangs. <laughs> no longer the Montagues and the Capulets. Nice. <laughs> um, so Romeo, Juliet. Yeah. And, uh, you know, to. Parents two are very people. supportive. Oh, so, so supportive, right? Of course. Right? <laughs> Everyone in the whole yeah, neighborhood. Right. Where'd you grow up? I grew up in Greensboro, North Carolina. Teaneck, New Jersey. Teaneck. New Jersey puts out, no disrespect. No worries. <laughs> We're talking Jack Nicholson. We're talking Meryl Streep and you. Hey. Springsteen. Yeah. Do we not put out the greatest performers? We do. We I'm do. Just saying, I'm, I should stop <laughs> fooling around. Uh, when did you know you wanted to do this? Uh, I not think, just this play, but you know, the whole thing. Yeah, I think when I was probably about 16. High school? Yeah, high school. I was uh, Place? going into my, uh, I guess, junior year of high school, and I had just gotten like my first lead role, and, and that was when I you know, f was first getting the confidence to be able to, to know that I wanted to do this, that I could do this, that I had what it took to do this. And you come to New York when? I came to New York in 2017. And you had a show? I did. I got Once on this Island um, oh, two months after graduation. On Broadway? On Broadway, come yeah. Come on. Uh, yeah. yeah, it was huh? so cool. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Yeah. You know, people are hating you right now. They're like, all these years, I haven't been able to get there. But you book it right away. Yeah. Do you realize how, I'm not going to say lucky, because you're the one who earned it. Yeah. Do you realize how big it is? I didn't at the time. Um, I didn't, I knew it was Broadway, but you never know how things are going to be received or. or uh, but it is Broadway. Yeah, it is Broadway. And that was super, super exciting to me. And then it was a pretty big hit. Like, people really, really loved it. It was a really yeah. special production that season. Do you ever hear Lion King? I, I have heard of Lion King. Do you know who's been in Lion King? <laughs> I think the love of my life, Shereen Pimentel, was in Lion King at one no, point. Do you allow him to touch you? I just, <laughs> yes. I just, yes. We thank have God a, the king. Okay. You should see what we do on stage. <laughs> a yeah. bit. Okay. Talk about Lion King. Yes. So I was in The Lion King when I was nine, and I turned 10 a month in. Wow. Uh, so that was a very special Going birthday. Going over the George Washington Bridge from Teaneck, shooting down the West Side Highway, Absolutely. coming to Broadway. Yeah. Just how, it changed, how did it change your life? Uh, it was the turning point of why I wanted to do musical theater. Before that, I wanted to be a dancer, and that's all I wanted to do. And this showed me that I could sing, and that I could do Broadway, and I could do wow. musicals. And I was in public school and kept doing the sixth grade while I was there, so it did Hold on, excuse me for talking. You weren't doing plays in school. <laughs> no, I was in public school. I was, okay. like, doing just school Yeah, but did they Broadway. know that you couldn't do the school play? 
Because oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come on. By the way, you're Juilliard now. I just want to say yeah. that right around the corner. So, so here's the thing. So you can't do the school play. No. Sorry, I'm doing Lion King. No. <laughs> and you're probably a well-adjusted kid who's not all full of herself. I tried. <laughs> yeah. And had normal relationships. Yeah. Uh, but uh, it's shift gears. It's a couple days away from previews. Yeah, first mm -hmm. preview. Tell folks what that means, because we always hear it. What does that mean? So we enter previews, which is a period where we're still rehearsing the piece. It's still changing day to day. Um, we're still making changes while there is an audience at night. So sort of based on um, the audience's response to it and what's working and what's not, uh, we make changes during the day. So it's a really, really busy time for the actors and everyone involved because we're constantly making changes, and then we have to do right. the show at night. So it's a pretty busy period. It's really exciting, though. And you open up the beginning of February. Yeah. Yes. Again, this will be seen before and after that. Yeah. <clears throat> Opening night. Yeah. You've done, been there before. Yeah. You're shaking your head already. Yeah. <laughs> what is it that you're looking for more than anything else, other than the cheers and the adulation and everything else? Is that it? I, I think I'm just... It, it's going to be different than previews, but I'm, I'm looking forward to doing it for that group of people. Uh -huh. uh, Whoever they are. Yeah, but I think it's also, there's going to be so many families exactly. in the room oh. of yeah. the cast members of all 50 of us and so many Broadway debuts this year of just people that that never have seen their, their children or their friends be on such a large stage and such a large-scale yeah. production. So, so I'm sorry for opening night a disproportionate number of that audience connected to the cast and crew and team. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it, it, more than wow. any other uh, performance of the show, I think that'll be the biggest celebration because that's really for our friends and family and industry folks who want to be there and who are supportive and excited and dressed up to the nines and, like, ready to go on a journey with us. And that's the most exciting night, I think. H have either one of you ever seen the original uh, West Side Story movie? I've seen the movie. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um... How different is this from that? Um, about Very as different, different as it could possibly be. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I think so, yeah. I mean, all the words are the same. All the songs, the music, untouched. It's, you know, it holds the integrity in that way. What's um, different? What's different is wearing contemporary clothes. Um, I think some political themes ring a little more loudly now than they would have. It's um, political? It's West Side you say? Story. Yeah. 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 Wow. I think I think the material lends itself to that. I think it was sure always yeah. yeah, it was always meant to be, and now it just it's so it's so poignant now. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. And wish you great success with uh, West Side Story. I love Thank it. you. Turn my notes around. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> with Tony Marie and West Side Story, um, Shireen and Isaac, wish you all the best over at Broadway Theater. On uh, 1681 Broadway. Yes. By the way, it's 90 nice. minutes. There's no intermission. So take care of your business before. Yes. And yeah. go see a great play. I look forward to seeing it. Thanks. Thank Best you. you. Thanks. This is one on one. This was one on two. Right back right after this. To see more one on one with Steve Adubato programs, visit us online at steveadubato.org. If you would like to express an opinion, email us at info at caucusnj.org. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash PhD and follow us on Twitter at Steve Adubato. There he is. He's back. We had him in the, in the past. We got him back now. He's Josh Segarra. He uh, is involved with a Netflix 10-episode dramedy. Mm. It is called AJ and the Queen. How you doing? I'm good, Steve. It's good to see you, man. It's good to see you. Uh, set up this AJ and the Queen thing for us. What is it? Uh, RuPaul. You might know him. Yeah. He plays, uh, he plays a drag the queen. Ball. Yeah, come on, V. Uh, he plays a drag queen named Ruby Red, um, who is trying to get back some money that was stolen by me, uh, his boyfriend turned uh, grifter, you know, uh, and my partner in crime, Tia Carrera, plays Lady Danger. Well, he's on the run and uh, finds a stowaway in his trailer, who's uh, played by a beautiful little girl named Izzy G. Um, and then uh, hilarity ensues. He's going across the country to make back that money, so he's stopping at uh, some bars along the way, some clubs along the way to uh, open up his own club in Queens called Queens and Queens. I love it. What's, he, what's RuPaul like? He's incredible, man. He's incredible, truthfully. Like, you know, on that job, I just wanted to do a good job. <laughs> you know, when I, when I met Michael Patrick King, who's a legend, you know, um, 
I, I always remember the day I met him. I, I don't think I've ever told him this. I, I remember the day I met him at that, at that callback, and I felt like he was shimmering, you know? He just looked like that. Just remind folks that Michael, Michael Patrick, Patrick King, King, I mean, That you little know, thing called Sex in the City. Sex in the City, that little <laughs> thing. You know, the comeback, Two Broke Girls. Oh. That's MPK right there. That's the man. So when I meet him, you know, that was the first time meeting a legend. So, okay, they bring it on, and now, all right, now I'm going to meet Rue, you know? And that first day, he just came in, and man, when he just, he made me feel like we'd been buddies forever. You know, he came in, and we hugged, we embraced, and um, and the rest was history, man. Watching him, watching him captivate a room is always impressive, I'll tell you that. Just because he's always coming in a nice suit, man. Always looking sharp, that guy. <laughs> not, but not intimidating. No, no, not intimidating. Generous, you know, you know, sorry for interrupting. Please. The word generous gets used a lot. Yeah, Is he yeah. generous? Super generous, and and and, and I, don't, I hope that doesn't sound, um, yeah, cliche, but it's one of those things where when he walks into a room, of course you know room, man. You know, look how hard he's worked. Look at look at how much he's grinded to get to where he's at. And look at the, this, this. Uh, yeah, he, he hate me for saying empire, but come on, man. Look at what he's doing. He's everywhere right now. And, and, mm. and, that's, be and, and that's because he's grinding. He's up every day at four in the morning. And that's because he's, he's kind and he's generous. And, and, and he walks into a room, it's, it's uh, come on, y'all. No pretense here. Let's have some fun. You know, let's I grind. Let's do some good work. So having him and Michael really caring about this project along the way took a lot of pressure off me because I knew that I didn't have to worry about, you know, trying to become their best friend. I knew that they brought me there to do my job as best as I can do. And a man, I just, uh, I'm really proud of that, uh, of AJ, uh, of AJ and the Queen. I'm really, I'm really excited for everybody to see it. And uh, I think, uh, I, I think we made something pretty special. What's the other two? Oh man, the other two is a, uh, a show I did uh, that we're going to go back into the second season on Comedy Central. Uh, uh, the uh, head writers, creators of that is Chris Kelly and Sarah Schneider. They were the head writers of SNL for many years. They worked over there. Those, so they're incredible. Uh, but it's, uh, it's about a, uh, a great, uh, it's a great story about a kid who becomes super famous uh, after a uh, viral video, uh, becomes a viral video about uh, him singing a song called I Want to Marry You at Recess. Can we and, take a look at the uh, clip? Yeah, of course. Let's please. take a look at the clip. Yeah, Talk check it out. It. Chase Dream! Chase Dream! Chase Dream! So, Mom, does this kind of talent run in the family? You have other kids, right? Um... Brooke, what are you doing? I'm being classic Brooke. What else is classic Brooke? She's hot. She's cool. Yes. She has always got deodorant on the outside of her clothing. No, 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 no. I don't know. I, I want to stop. <laughs> what a cast. How much fun? A lot of fun. That's my that's my homie right there, Helena York, that I'm playing opposite of. We play Lance and Brooke. She's uh, she's my cook Brooke on there, or my Brookie monster. I love it. And uh, she's the best man. She's she's an incredible partner. We had a lot of fun. And uh, Drew Tarver, who plays her brother, uh, they have a great relationship. That I think they're best buds. I know they're best buds. And the kid that plays uh, Chase Dreams, Case Walker. I love that boy. Did I see Wanda Sykes or no? Am I wrong? Oh about yeah, that? you saw I just Wanda says, Sykes. Is that Wanda Sykes? Oh, yeah, you did. You saw. You're gonna see Molly. Shannon, you're gonna see Ken Marino, Wanda Sykes, like those. The Molly Shannon? Come on, the Molly Shannon. I came out for back, you're too young. But what? back in the day, Molly Shannon, she's a Catholic school girl. What's oh, her name? Come on, uh, oh my Who, gosh, come on. Mary Catherine. Thank you, Mary did Catherine you, Gallagher. Gallagher. Did come you on. just sniff your fingers? <laughs> come on, <laughs> you know, come on. You are an aficionado. Come on, man. <laughs> I, I grew it. up watching, I grew up watching Best of SNL tapes, VHS is on repeat. I'm, I am I am a product of Tommy Boy, Happy Gilmore, Billy Madison, best of Chris Farley, best of Adam Sandler, best of SNLs, anywhere from you know 92 to 98. Those VHSs are birthed out of my house, man. Wow. So, where'd you grow up? I grew up in Central Florida, in Orlando, Florida. My parents uh, moved from Puerto Rico a couple years before I was born, about a year before I was born, to uh, work at a pharmacy in Florida. They were offering a couple more dollars to pharmacists that were graduating from University of Puerto Rico to come to Florida. They moved at 22, 23, and mm. maybe a few years later, man. And uh, yeah, I love them to death. Tell, tell me about Arrow. Arrow was fun. Arrow was incredible. I got to live a childhood dream out of being this, uh, you know, maybe as a kid I thought I was gonna be a superhero. But I think along the way, I realized that I wanted to play a super villain. You know, that those characters can be a lot of fun. And and, uh, and when this one came along and, and uh, they gave me the honor of uh, helping them create this guy, Adrian Chase, Prometheus, you know, 
Uh, man, I, I had a lot of fun throwing some ninja stars, uh, sword fighting, you know, getting to go one-on-one -on -one with Stephen Amell. Come on. In real life, he'd kill me. You know, like that fight, <laughs> that fight would last. Acting. Yeah, you know, like, acting. Dude, the best is, like, sometimes I'll get asked, you know, and they're like, you know, who would win in a fight between you? I'm like, stop. Don't even, if it, come on, guys. Well, hold on, hold on. speaking on. of fights, we got a few things like, we yeah. were here last night, we talked wrestling. Yeah. Of course we did. You're big into wrestling. I love professional wrestling. Did I, I taught you back then. Did uh -huh. I tell you that my man was, was Pedro Morales? What? From Puerto Rico. Wow, man. That's, you, cool. that's definitely before your time. Don't but I know that. Pedro. Come on. Of course I'm you a do, historian. Right? I'll, I've been going back before that. Tell me. From Abruzzi, Italy. Huh, the who? champion before, Bruno San Martino. There's a documentary out there, right? See, I'm just saying. I love it, man. This, I love that, 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 that because that's a, that's maybe a generation. Of, because sometimes people bring up the whole Kogan Macho Man Ultimate Warrior nah, nah, generation. I'm back. Nah, nah. Yeah, exactly. But they, those guys came before. They wouldn't you know? have been them. Listen, hey. thank you, my friend. Thank you. All the best. Oh, the best, man. I appreciate that. You think you're working enough? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Catch you next time. It's one on one. <laughs> Thanks, man. One on one with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation. This special edition of One on One with Steve Adubato is brought to you from the Tisch WNET studios at Lincoln Center. Funding has been provided by Holy Name Medical Center, the Northward Center, United Airlines, New Jersey Sharing Network, the New Jersey Education Association, Rowan University, Investors Bank, and by Fedway Associates. Promotional support provided by AM970, The Answer and by NJ.com. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area. Hi, I'm Elise Glennon. New Jersey Sharing Network is committed to saving lives through organ and tissue donation. We are proud to announce that the Transplant Games of America will come to New Jersey in July of 2020. This six-day festival will raise awareness about the need for organ, eye, and tissue donation and bring together families and individuals impacted by the gift of life. To find out more about how you can be a competitor, a volunteer, or a corporate partner, visit njsharingnetwork.org. Let the games begin.